Another situation we've had uh, former countrymen against each other as Gostia from representing Azerbaijan, but originally from the Russian Federation. And the first two points on the board. Sadly, not wasting any time. Uh, Kurgaliev with two and two. Now got the, looks like he's going to shelf the leg. That moves up to the gut wrench. Well, it's been a feature so far from my novice eyes, that quick start, making a big difference, certainly so far for Kurugliev of Russia, four to the good. We've not even had 30 seconds. We're into it now, but Gustayev really going to have to respond here. And I love that faking, fainting motion, the pretending movement, changing the, the angle of attack from Kurugliev. Always confusing the opponent. Always looking for angles. Level change here, level change there. Get, get your opponent off their feet. Again, all about creating angles and positions to an attack. You see a good one there. Wow. The speed at which it's done smooth. It's also crazy is how good Kurgliev is. Until we see Abdul Rashid Sadalayev up at 97 kilos, we still haven't seen it yet. This guy's in the European finals, and uh, he's not even the best wrestler in the country in his weight class. And he's coming off wins at the Uregan and the Acerdoga. Wow. Again, we're waiting to see Set Alive at the weight, which has been the rumor up a weight, the Olympic champion and young world champion. Recently married as well, but uh, we're not talking about Set Alive here. We're talking about Kura uh, Goliath. Kuruglaev looking good so far, that fantastic start, as you said. He's had to work hard to claim a spot on the national team. Can he claim a gold medal here in this under 86 kilogram grouping? Gostayev as an offensive force, not so much yet. And it's that movement, that lateral style of the Russian. Compact and strong, as well as elusive, but the single leg almost given up there. Well, he's the most visibly powerful athlete that I've seen so far in the categories in 86. He's, he's got that strength, hard to move, but also quick, explosive style. It just shoves Gustiev away there. Yeah, 24-year-old Kurogliev and 30-year-old Gustiev. Well, how will be the conditioning of Gustiev? He's going to have to go back. He's got not much time left in this opening period to try and do anything. Just keep the score down and live to fight another day. Three more minutes left in day one for us here in, in Nova Sad. So, uh, as we got 30 seconds, the wrestlers cool down. John, how do you feel this has set the stage for the rest of the week here in Nova Sad? It's been an absolute pleasure. What a, a crackerjack start, explosive. What I've loved to see is the different strategies. And in that, it's almost like a sprinter leaving the blocks. As soon as the referee's whistle goes, we've seen them attack with great intensity. Comeback wins as well. For me, it's been incredibly enjoyable. For yourself, much more experienced than I am. How does this compare as an opening day? Uh, it's, it's one of the better opening days I've seen. And, and we look at the quality of competition. And when I say quality, it's a compact quality. There's the depth. It's not, we don't have 100 countries here. We've got about 30. And they're very compact in quality. It's, it's concentrated excellence here in, in Nova Sad. Concentrated excellence. I like that as a description. Perhaps not of the commentary, but we can discuss that later on. Why have I not been concentrating? I was, <laughs> I've not been excellent, so. <laughs> well, if we need to concentrate, we'll just get a can of orange juice out here. That's what that says. Concentrate on the side. Yeah. That has nothing to do with wrestling, so. Uh, we're... Eyes down, back on the mat. <laughs> Very true. Well, Kurugliev looking really good here. And it's that ability to just kill the clock. You've got more than one opponent in any fight. You can deal with the opponent coach, the referee, the clock. You've got all sorts of things to manage. And the Russian is managing it at the moment. A little warning, though. Can't go too quiet too soon. Alexander Gostiev 
has to respond though. Big slap there on the inside. Nice show of respect between the two. Agostia have been outmanned, outmuscled at the moment here. And you mentioned that age differential as well. It could start to tail down the stretch here. I just want to know where these, these young Russians keep coming from, because they're just... Every time you look, there's another young Russian coming up to, to do things. Well, I'm guessing to make it into the national team, you've got to come through the previous that were all top class. So by the time you make it in, I think we saw a little head clash there. Some blood to the nose. And also a useful chance here to catch the breath. Here's the head coming up, head down, I should say. Just clash to the shoulder. Well, it takes a lot of pain to be a champion. That looked like a sore one. But it's been a show of good etiquette and respect between both opponents on the map. But at the moment, the gold medal destined for Russia. What can Alexander Gostiev do about this? Score. <laughs> That's always a good start. Easier said than done when faced with the man mountain of Karugliev. The referee, first responsibility is the safety of the athlete, so just making sure that this has all been cleaned up here. Yeah, because they're not paid by the hour. Except no, no money for overtime in wrestling. Well, there is no overtime in international wrestling. <laughs> That's Hence, why there's, there's no money, no money in it. Yeah. Yes, OK, we're on the same page there. That's it. We'll get there. Got some running repairs and a few little bits of coaching advice here. It's not a formality for Kurugliev. But it's a disconsolate figure of Gostiev looking tired now. I just got to give our sound crew some credit here, man. I can hear the spray bottle <laughs> down there on the mat. Well, I'm disappointed. Uh, I, mean, I know the, the Iranians don't compete in the European Championships just by sheer geography, but man, I, I would love to see some cold spray sometime soon. Don't know if that's uh, as popular in Europe as it is in Iran. The magic spray, but who's got the magic in the last minute 30? Well, the referee being super officious here, making sure that... Well, you mentioned the, the spray. I think they're making sure that it's getting cleaned up. Well, his nose seemed to be in a, a little bit of problem. Is there a protocol of how much, how many injury breaks you can have, or is it just up to the you know the doctor has the call if there's a situation where there's a blood or an injury situation? I know uh, I remember back in 2011 when Jordan Burroughs broke onto the scene and he was in the semifinals against uh, Russell from Azerbaijan and in, or it might have been the quarterfinals because he beat Sargus early and then his cauliflower ear exploded. Nice. He got chopped and it was just. And I was worried, you know, coming from an American standpoint, that the, the doctors were going to try to disqualify him because there was only like three seconds left in the match. And okay. they had to get it taped up. And uh, fortunately for the United States, American Bernie Feldman was, was on staff. They're like, nope, you're not. And they kind of stalled him to make sure that they could tape it up. Ah, OK. Well, tails from the past, but uh, taped up nose here. Karugliev, he's bruised and battered and bloodied. A gold medal would be rich reward for his efforts here. Gostayev has done his best. He's had a little rest as well here in that impasse due to the injury. But just cannot get a hold of the legs at all. Are we yeah. get I think the doctor's on again here, Jason. Yeah, well, I don't think it's the doctors. We don't have a bleeder. We got, well, we might have a bleeder. We got a bleeder. Oh, we just still more uh, clean up on Matt B while we're at it. Well, in the red and blue singlet now, will it be gold for Russia? More than likely. And they, of course, have to make sure that all the blood is off of the mats for the health and safety of the, the wrestlers. And some sweat as well on the arms. So the referee doing a good job. Safety first. There's a minute and some change left in this final final of day one. <laughs> Alex
Alexander Kostyev as an attacking threat. Well, he's been pushed away every single time by Kurugliev. Get the passivity warning, the second one against Karugliev. He is on the shot clock. But with 40 seconds remaining, probably too little too late. And as we say that, in on the leg attack is Gostiev. Can he finish? Can he finish? Can he finish? And Karugliev defending the goal. Can I counter? Can I counter? Can I counter? Oh, looks like going to get two there, too, and he does score. So 6-0, the shot clock was at 29 seconds when he finished that, too. And with short time here to go, Karugliev looks to be seconds away from his first European Championship. And what a way to do it, Jason. In the final seconds, he looked to be in trouble, Dauren Karugliev. It took a lot of pain, it took a lot of effort. He may be bloodied and battered, but he emerges victorious. Credit to to Gostaev, an excellent silver medal. Looked as if he may be able to do something there in the last second. A credit worthy effort from the Aziri, but in the end, it is right.